This is a Casio G-Shock and this is an Apple Watch Series 7 45mm. Today I'm going to show you how to add the Casio G-Shock face onto the Apple Watch Series 7. And of course you can add any face that you like. You can add a Rolex face, a Gucci face, anything and everything. Download it, sync it with the Apple Watch. You're only going to need two things. You're going to need your iPhone and you're going to need your Apple Watch. The first step is to go onto your iPhone, go to the App Store and then download the Clockology app. Here we go. Once it's downloaded, we're going to open it and then you're going to see a welcome screen come up and then we can just swipe down on the welcome screen. Don't show again. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Apple Watch app and make sure that the app is installed on the Apple Watch. So we can go here, go to Watch app and here we can see that the Clockology app has installed on the Apple Watch. And if it hasn't, you can scroll down to the bottom over here and press install and it will install that way. Next, we need to configure some settings in the Watch app. We're going to go to the top, we're going to press general, we're going to scroll until we find return to clock and then press return to clock after one hour. So for the next step, we need to download something called the beta file. And this is something which I'm going to link in the description below, but you can also find it on the Clockology Facebook group. And there's like 400,000 people in this group. So you go here, you type in beta file. This is just the first one I've seen. Uh, you'll see a media file link to go and download it. So you can open it and download. Once the beta file is downloaded, we're going to open Clockology on the iPhone. We're also going to open Clockology on the Apple Watch. You can see over here. And then when we press open on the iPhone, you'll see sync mode, beta unlocked, swipe down to get started. You should see this screen come up on the Apple Watch, which is like the default beta clockology screen. Once that's done, I'm going to restart the Apple Watch to make sure it's properly synced. Press and hold the side button, power off, then press and hold again to start it back up. While the Apple Watch is starting back up, this is the fun part. We're going to go and find an Apple Watch face that we like. There are three places I'd recommend you checking out for Apple Watch faces. The first is the Clockology Facebook group. The second one is the Clockology subreddit. And the third one is by a guy called Just Iggy, who I discovered on TikTok. And he has a nice library of watch faces that you can choose from. For today's video, I'm going to show you a cool Casio face I saw in the Facebook group. So let's go back into it. And let's scroll. And this is the one, Casio Prototype. I'm going to open this one, then press download. Something important to note is you can't actually download files in the Facebook app. You have to open it in browser in Safari to download it. We have the Apple Watch back up. I'm going to open Clockology. So Clockology is open. I'm going to go back onto the iPhone and open Clockology. And there I can see the Casio Prototype, which I want to sync to the Apple Watch face. We're going to press and hold on the icon. And there's something called Watch Sync. Press that button and press Sync. Any minute now, we should see that this is going to change. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> the Casio prototype came up. But now we've also got the option to allow access to health data. I would recommend allowing access to health data because it shows the number of steps you've done in the day, the number of calories burned, and all of that information can be shown through your custom Apple Watch face. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tick it and then scroll all the way down. And there we have it. The Casio face is now on the Apple Watch. Does that look similar? Kind of, right? Some caveats of doing this, so there are like three caveats that I want to cover. The first one is that this is like a side-loaded piece of tech. It's not a native Apple Watch face for the Apple Watch. That means if you press the side crown button here, it's going to return back to the Apple Watch face. So it's not a perfectly optimized experience. You are relying on keeping the Clockology app open. That's why we went to the settings and press return to clock after one hour. The other thing to bear in mind is that Clockology is an app and therefore it will have some effects on your battery health or not even your battery health, just your battery life throughout the day. Having said that, Clockology say that it doesn't really eat up that much of your battery life. It works just like having any other app running. I'm inclined to believe them. I don't think it will have that much of an effect on your battery health. However, I haven't really used this data today to measure the difference in how much it's eating up. So it's just something worth keeping in mind. Now the third and final caveat I want to mention is that there is a pro subscription version of Clockology. This is free to download and it's pretty easy to get started but there are some extra features you can get with a paid for subscription. At the end of the day I don't see Apple opening up watch faces to third party developers anytime soon especially with something like a Casio face which might have a copyright attached to it. So this is the best that we're going to get for now. If you like this video be sure to check out my top 10 tips that everyone should know about the Apple Watch and I'll link that up above.